I just got done watching the brand new studio raunchy romantic comedy titled Bros. This is actually the first big studio comedy to feature two gay men falling in love. The likes of Billy Eichner, Luke McFarlane, and it's directed by Nicholas Stoller and written actually by him and Billy as well. Now this movie, I actually stayed away a lot from the trailers and I've personally done that because I feel like comedies give a lot away in the trailers. But most importantly, the reason I was excited for this movie is because Nicholas Stoller, when he comes to do a comedy, it can surprisingly always be really good, specifically in the way that he touches upon relationships. And what I was most excited about was hearing that this was going to be going back to a raunchy, romantic comedy style. Something in the vein of Forgetting Sarah Marshall was Stoller also made. And I'm so happy to say that bros did accomplish this. And in fact, this movie is very relatable to anyone who watches it. It doesn't matter what side of the spectrum that you're on, no matter if you're straight, gay, lesbian, bi, whatever you want to be, you're going to be able to relate to these two characters. And that was one of the things that I was really appreciative about. And I'm so happy to be reviewing this movie. And also, just so you guys know, I actually am going to be getting the chance to interview these two awesome guys, Luke and and Billy so look forward to that interview it's either up on the channel already or should be up very soon and if you're interested in seeing that and more extra movie content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well as comment down below your guys's overall thoughts but with every movie review let's dive into this like I mentioned bros is the first big studio comedy about two gay guys and these two men have commitment problems and attempt a relationship along the way and starting with my pros the one thing I really want to get out of the way is of course the fact that this is a raunchy comedy Comedy. We have not gotten a studio raunchy comedy, honestly, since probably this is the end. And when we're looking at just romantic comedy wise in that vein, the last thing I can think of is really forgetting Sarah Marshall. And it kind of sucks. I feel like comedies have really dipped in quality over the years. We've gotten some good ones here and there, but most comedies really much just head straight to streaming unless it's garnered by a huge star. And typically those movies are not that funny anymore. In fact, I usually typically walk out of a lot of those and go, eh. And honestly, I haven't really loved a comedy since 2019 when we got Booksmart, Long Shot. But in fact, those movies weren't as raunchy as they typically are. And Booksmart more had the added bonus because it was more of an indie movie. And Bros is a way bigger budgeted film when it comes down to the comedy scale. So... Shout out to that. And I'm happy that Nicholas Stoller and Billy were able to get this film greenlit because I think this is an important movie as well to show that we deserve raunchy comedies like this and also the fact that it is the first big gay comedy to, to about two gay men. And I love that because what I loved about this movie was the relatability of it all. I watched these two guys and I'm like, that is literally me and my fiance. Like the way that their relationship starts, the way that they have commitment issues is the kind of the same way that not maybe me and my fiance started, but just in general, how we kind of started engaging as each other. We started as friends and then maybe we were trying to find our way and trying to figure out what is going to be going about in our relationship. How is this going to finite and figure out itself? And I love that bros establishes that in a way, this movie is about two people just trying to find someone that they are able to tolerate and if that's not love that is the true definition of love is finding someone that you are able to tolerate with and I love that bros dove into this as well as something that they also do really well is not just focus on the love aspect of it all but also just the friend relationship way there are conversations that these two have that you really feel engaged with, but most of all relating to, that you've had conversations with, with a friend, with a loved one, with a family member, and you look at that and you're like, yeah, that's something that I have this passion for. And if you've watched my channel, I have this huge passion for movies. And you think I talk a lot about movies on this channel? Imagine what my fiance gets to hear on a daily basis about my aspirations, about my dreams, and sometimes she probably doesn't even know what the hell I'm talking about. They have conversations like that in this movie but the other person's just listening and they talk about that they talk about how important listening is into a relationship and I like that they were able to do that you don't see that a lot in romantic comedies and they really do take the time to touch on those and I think something that we forget about romantic comedies like this and specifically in films like Nicholas Stoller does and also Judd Apatow is they don't just focus on the comedic moments the comedic moments at times can be skit wise and whatnot but what they also do is they also feel real at times and they give motions and dramatic avenues for these characters to pursue and have conversations like real people. And I'm so happy that they accomplished this. And just like I mentioned, Billy and Luke are phenomenal in this. 
both their performances are great you really relate and feel and see both differences to each other and while maybe they shouldn't not be a match they end up being one and you end up loving both of them to such a high standard and I ended up just loving both of them to really that high standard and I love both of their performances and again Billy's writing with Nicholas Stoller here was fantastic I was also really impressed with the way that they touched in onto the LGBTQ plus community they really added and touched into things that maybe I've never known before but also just played around with it and I think people in those communities are really going to appreciate that the most they'll be able to get that added bonus in, and maybe if you're not in that community you're going to be able to look at that support this film in a different way and also just see how important this movie is for that whole entire community because again when it comes down to things like this and romantic comedies I've never seen a studio comedy do something like this, and it's kind of awesome. In fact, they even touch on sex scenes, which are, you know, sometimes when you see a romantic comedy and they have sex scenes, they are hilarious. They're funny. They're never really intimate. They play around with that. They have their funny sex scene in here, and I was busting out laughing because the jokes in here are really good. Sometimes some of them go on a little bit too long and do feel a little bit too sketchy here and there, but still, I enjoyed it. Let's talk about my issues with the movie because no movie is perfect, and when it comes down to Nicholas Stoller movies, I always happen to find myself in the same issues, and that big issue I got right here is the runtime. The movie's about an hour and 55 minutes, and I found the movie to be a tad bit too long about 15 to 20 minutes too long and it does fall into some cliches now not every cliche there was one cliche I was like waiting to happen when it comes to about with Luke's character and his family and certain dynamics with there I was a little bit worried that they were gonna go they never go into the cliche I was worried about but they do go in the cliche of oh they're together oh they're not oh they're together oh we're gonna fix this we're gonna mend this and you know exactly where the movie's going and I wish they would have taken a couple more risks there because that is something that we see in every single romantic comedy and that's really like my only big issue with the movie is that and the runtime like I said bros is a hilarious movie Billy is great I love the writing in here and truly enough I was really blown away by that. Luke McFarlane is a star and I can't wait to see more of him and stuff. Their chemistry just works and fires on all cylinders and Nicholas Stoller knows how to direct a movie about relationships and since he's really done such a great job with romantic comedies in the past and relationship movies where it focuses about two friends, the best of both worlds in this movie between them both and this is one of Stoller's best directed movies in a while. This is a comedy that feels like it should have came out in the early to late 2000s that we just don't get nowadays. This is a raunchy romantic comedy that has the drama that has the comedy you're gonna laugh you might even swell up some tears here and there this is a movie that's worth seeing no matter who you are or what you are this is a hilarious film and i'm so happy to say this so with all that said i'm gonna give bros a b plus so good to have a romantic raunchy comedy once again and i can't wait to see your guys thoughts down below in the comment section so again hit that like and subscribe button comment down below and of course until next time stay class